Hello boys, we're back with some more Higurashi. Um, last episode was a little short, but I wasn't 100% feeling it, you know, I might as well. I should probably, like, be completely dialed in if I'm reading this. Um, but yeah, I'm ready now, um, especially after yesterday. I've come to sort of appreciate Higurashi. A little bit more after reading a uh, rant to without any voice acting, you know, out an hour long Hidarashi episode. It ain't that bad. <laughs> an hour after an hour on rants, I actually felt like my throat was dying because I've just been talking the whole time. That's pretty brutal. So it's good to get this this voice acting in. <laughs> Anyways, last time Tachi kind of hatched a plan um it's not a great plan and he's gonna tell it to his classmates and obviously no one's really gonna agree with it but you know taking initiative shows he hasn't given up and maybe he's on to something i don't think hiding him in your house will be successful but maybe you can find a a better spot for her to hide out and you can just like bring her food and stuff that might be a better idea like I don't know, an abandoned building or something. I, I don't know, maybe Mion has some sort of empty place for her. And then they can just visit her and she can live secretly there. That's probably a lot more comfortable than, um, than hiding in Keiichi's room. <laughs> um, but then there's the question of which attacks... Satoko. I almost went back to my old Satako. How do you even say it? Satako? Sato? I don't even remember. I just remember saying her name wrong for the first, for all of Anutakushi. But yeah, we know she sort of has, I don't know if it's, I don't like, I don't know if I should say it's pride, but it's something similar to that, where she wants to kind of tough it out. But yeah, let's just get right into this. The ceiling blurred into view. It was hot. There was a thin layer of moist sweat on me. The voices of the cicadas permeating my room were somehow grating to my head. I remember today was a weekday and quickly brought myself to consciousness. And then, finally, I leaped out of bed. The clock read a little before ten. I was totally late. No one woke him up. Yeah, well, I don't know what time they go to school. They probably mentioned it, but I don't remember, but... It's definitely not ten, right? I think elementary was like nine o'clock. I might have been high school too, I don't remember. <laughs> when I wandered downstairs, my mom would get mad at me. There was nothing I could do though. After reviewing the schedule for the school day for a moment, I suitably rearranged the stuff in my bag. I hurried and got dressed, then went down the stairs. Oh. There was no sign of my parents anywhere. Maybe they went out somewhere together. So that's how it was. My mother had probably woken me up once this morning, but then I fell back to sleep without remembering it. And my parents, thinking I'd gone to school, left. <laughs> Something like that can happen. Probably happened. I went to the front door, and as I expected, it was locked. Looked like I was right. It was further evidence of my speculation being correct. I don't know why they're diving too deep into this. When I realized my parents weren't here, I suddenly felt less like I had to rush to get to school. There's one portion of breakfast left in the dining room. Probably mine. The milk they poured in it had gone warm since a while ago. When I realized how hard it would be to sneak food for Satoko, yesterday I had cried. Well, thinking back on it, food wasn't the only issue in that regard. I wasn't in a position where I could bargain for, Sato for Satoko by myself anyway. It's such a heavy thing just to save a single person. I'd seen this on TV and in comments all the, t all the time, 
those feel-good words about how you'll save your friends for sure and such. Was that why I ran my mouth like that, swearing to save her? Because I wanted to feel good about it? No, that absolutely wasn't true. Because the fact was I couldn't save her. <laughs> mm. Because I didn't want to think like an adult. Like I couldn't do anything but watch. Had Satoko gone to school today? I immediately realized that was a meaningless question. Whether or not she did, there wouldn't be a change in the environment she's she'd been placed in. If I couldn't save her and no one else could either, then we could only pray for a miracle. With a vague goal of getting to school in mind, I sluggishly put on my shoes and stumbled out the front door. I had only overslept by two or three hours, but the sunlight and air felt completely different from how they usually were in the morning. Well, of course they did. Once ten o'clock came around, you could barely call it morning anymore. I didn't feel like walking to the same old route to school. I needed to ultimately end up there, but it was like I didn't want to choose the shortest route, the most proactive one to get to school. Put in a more positive light, maybe I wanted some time to walk by myself and think. I had to go to school, partly to make sure Satoko was safe, but I hadn't come up with any plans yet. Nothing since last night, so the path I took from my house was in the complete opposite direction. If I went this way, I'd pass Renna's house and the dam site. Ah, it would be quite the detour. I calculated how long of a detour it would end up being, then satisfied with the answer, I started to walk. Renna had brought me to the dam site a few times. One section of it had turned into an unlawful oversized garbage dump, and Renna really liked going fishing for junk in there. Without that, she'd come off as a completely normal girl, too. I can think of a few other qualities she could do without, but whatever. <laughs> the view quickly opened up wide, and I was hit by a strong wind. There's no shelter here at this big dam site. Maybe it was a good thing I came here, I thought. At the very least, it was more healthy to think about stuff in a place like this instead of my cramped bedroom. I took a deep breath and filled my lungs with the rich, cold air unique to Hinamizawa. Ring, ring. I turned around reflexively. It was a bicycle bell. Considering where I was standing, I don't think they were trying to get me out of the way. Maybe it's Tomotaki or Uishi. Probably Tomotaki. They'd rang the bell because they wanted something from me. Hey. Still, still scouting around the dam site, Tomotaki. You definitely have to brainstorm about the dam site. I like, in this, uh, are they're really bringing back a lot of the points from, uh, Hanakakashi. And there's obviously something sketchy about the dump, the dam's construction site, but mainly Rena's dumpster diving. <clears throat> but, oh yeah, after this, I'll probably do, uh... I do a mid mid arc brainstorming sesh, so that'll be fun, I guess. Hey, excuse me. Why aren't you talking, Tomotaki? You're from Hinomizawa, right? Yes. Why? Ah, I remember someone said that, but I don't know why they wouldn't. Maybe these were added after. I don't know why they're not voice acted. I've seen this person around a few times. Right, I remembered. His name, I think, was Tomotaki Jiro. <laughs> well, we know it's a fake name, but... Oops. A freelance photographer who lived in Tokyo. He would zealously visit Hinamizawa every season to take pictures. Or so Miyana and the others told me, I think. This is the first time we've seen him, right? In the shark. Is that what he normally wears? Or does he have, like, a shirt on? I don't know, he's looking pretty swole right now. 
ここから神社ですか Well, if he comes here every year, it's probably a lie. I think he just wanted to talk to you.、Mm. I knew where everything was in my head, but explaining how to get there was a difficult. was difficult. I was a little irritated at having been bothered for this, but when I realized it meant my detour actually meant something, that feeling faded quickly. いい hey, helping someone. Ooh. Just, just skip school completely, teach you. It's alright. <laughs> でもいいのかい君の用事は。トマタキさん、ファンリーアピアティアヴィアライズ、ハストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、ファーストランジャーは、Like I stated before, maybe Tomotaki or Takano or both might survive the Watanagashi since the uncle is back in town, and I feel like he might be a bigger threat than these two at least. Because it seems like nobody likes him. <laughs> and like, yeah. Tomotaki san hurried to turn his bike around and came after me. Ha 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 ha! Go on, go on. Go on, go on. That's a nice line. What a free minded freelancer. It was easier for me too that he was under that impression. I'm Tomotaki, a freelance photographer. I specialize in wild birds and landscapes. I'm still pretty unknown though. It seemed absurd for him to introduce himself when I was just showing him to the shrine, but he gave me his name, so I needed to give mine back. I mean, it's pretty reasonable. You're talking and guiding him. Makes it less awkward. I'm Mybra. Pleased to meet you, I guess. Mybra kun. Pleased to meet you. Seemed like a pretty silly man, but that felt kind of good considering I'd been suffocating with worry over Satoko all night. Along the way, Tomotaki san spoke at a length. To me, about how precious the nature in Hinamizawa was, and how it was a treasure trove of rare wild birds, despite my not having asked. Rare wild birds, huh? I mean, we haven't seen anything, but does it mean they're not there? <laughs> I wasn't interested in what he had to say, but he seemed to be enjoying himself, so I left him to it. This <laughs> one. As Tomotaki san mumbled to himself, he left his bicycle nearby and started to climb the stairs quickly. I didn't have to watch. I didn't have a watch, but as far as my internal clock could guess, it was still a little late in the morning. School wasn't very far from here. Maybe I could kill a little more time until then. With that in mind, I went up the steps in pursuit of Tomotaki san. Me Takuna? I guess. I mean, who else is Tomotaki than a me? <laughs> When I reached the top of the lawn stairs, I arrived at a wide open shrine grounds that were too grand looking for this tiny village. Tomotaki san. Oh, there he is. It looked like he was supposed to be meeting someone here. Then he got lost and ended up being late. He was bound to a lady who must have been the person he was meeting. There we go. The pair. The, that lady. I knew her. Hello, train. Hi. Talk to no Mio, right? I think I got that right. What? なんだ、ケイチ君ついてきたのかい？べ、別にそんなつもりはないですよ。ただちょっと時間つぶしがしたかっただけです。あらあら、重役出勤とは優雅なものね。さすがは有名人。今から大物ぶりを発揮してること。
What? Was I a... A celebrity? Well, she did say my name out of nowhere, anyway. I was oddly concerned about what she meant by famous. <laughs> I remembered your first name. ムラの診療所に勤めてる。いや、もうクリニックワーカーズ。ケイチ君は健康そうだからあまり病院のお世話にはならないかな。<laughs> this lady named Takano-san. I kind of didn't remember her. Maybe we'd passed each other on the street a few times, but I was pretty sure this was the first time we'd talked. Well, this is Hinomizawa. Even if I don't know a person's name, it's not unusual to know them, to them, for them to know mine. I glanced at Takano-san and saw she had a bathing camera. ひょっとして二人とも写真仲間ですかああ、それで待ち合わせを。仲間でなんてとんでもない。素人の私に二郎さんが優しくて解きをしてくださるだけなのよ。ねえ。うん。あ。そんなことないよ。<笑> 高野さんは飲み込みが早いからね。僕の指導なんかなくても実に自由に撮影をこなせよ。ウェンドフィラナゲラクスタートヒア。本当さ、ウィアダミニクスタークバットナダフォーワン。あ。あ。あ。あ。
which people call Oyasho Sama's curse, and the disappearance of curse that people call being demoned away. These strange events had happened four years running, and watching Nagashi rapidly approaching the day after tomorrow marked the fifth. あの、旧的に祟りをなすお社様か。今年もあるとして、果たしてその矛を受けるのは誰になるだろうね。あ、僕はここに来るたびにちゃんとお参りしてお再選を入れてる。Well, いほじんにはとくにきびしいってはなしよ。少しできたばかりとはいえ、前原くんはちゃんとひなみざわに住んでる村人だけど。次郎さんは毎年来るだけのただのよそ者。さて、今年は見逃してもらえるかしら。ひ
Tatano-san gave off a mysterious, somehow intelligent, intellectual impression, and her life's work was mysterious in its own right. She probably really liked inexplicable supernatural phenomena or something. Takano-san wa Oyashiro sama no tatari ni kuwashi sou desu ne. Ano, dou deshou? Hojo no ano kaete kita oji ga tatari ni au kanousei wa. Ara nani? Sono oji san wo koroshitakute shikata ga nai mitai ne. So so nan ja nai desu. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
平見沢村が鬼ヶ淵村と呼ばれていた古代にまで遡らなければならない鬼と血を交わらせたと信じる半人半鬼の仙人たちが Tartano san, having entered her home field, leaned forward and began to speak of ridiculous matters. Tomotachi san realized she was overawing me and interrupted for me. Takano san, Takano san! Sono hanashi o ikinari keichi kun ni shitemo. Ora, kare mo menkurotte ryo. Ara, so? Suzuki ni kyomi ga atta ra, itsu de mo itte ne. バーバラ君くらいの年頃の男の子が好きそうな猟奇的なお話がてんこ盛りなんだからあありがとうございます気が向いたらそのうちに For now I softly and safely gave my refusal Tatano san seemed a little unhappy that Tomotachi san had rained on her parade but she stopped talking about it then Even so it was a very interesting story That Oyashiro Sama's curse, which we thought of as strange freak deaths, were really homicides perpetrated by people of the village. まあその常識的に考えればそうですよね。たたりなんかで人が死ぬはずない。誰かがたたりになぞらえて殺してるに決まってます。I mean maybe. I feel like again we'll go deeply into it later. I feel like it's perfectly fine for it to be maybe a mix of sorts. Like, I don't think the same culprit, definitely, I don't think the same culprit killed every one of the victims. And you can even say some is actually just,、uh, just chance or accidents, and some are actually murders. Like, obviously, the first one's probably a murder, the second one could just be chance, and the third one. I don't know. A hundred percent, but you know, they could like use some of the. They could have like gained momentum from the accidents and made them. Sort of made its own thing with it, right? Whoever. Whoever did the other stuff. Other incidents. So, ne? 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 知ってそうですね証拠はないまでも確信を持っているくらいにはあらどうしてそう思うのかしら I just kind of felt it vaguely It didn't seem like her extreme passion for this research could be explained just by these things being taboo or being safe and easy Well, if I remember correctly from her diary entries or journal entries, I think she suspects、uh, the Sonozakis of doing it. Or at least she was researching them. This person loved walking through the profound, forbidden abyss of risks and taboos. So, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 涼しいうちに散策に行きたかったのにな。トマトハキさん、seemed a little disappointed not to, not to be able to go on the date he planned since I had brought up a weird topic. But right now, there's something I wanted to ask just for a little bit. And that was about whether Satoko's uncle will be chosen for the curse this year. If he was, then another miracle would happen just like last year. A terrible incident would happen again, but it would release the Toto from her unfortunate circumstances once more. Ma, Motiro, Osoraku, Ano Atari no Hito Tachi, Kakawa Terunda Rona, Tay, Oksoka Motelio, Oniga Fuchimura no Rexio, Kenkyu Stayleba, Shizen to Itaru, Shizen de Kiketsunats. So, what are this? This might be awkward. Wait, I skipped something. What would I do if I knew? I asked that question to the other me deep inside, but got no reply. Wouldn't that be cool if there's one arc where Keiichi. Let's say, like, Mion or Sonozaki's aren't doing it, or at least doing something sketchy, and Keiichi actually joins them for it. <laughs> That'd be fun. 
So that, that, that'd probably be in... Well, I don't know how answers work. The answer arts work. I just know that they, like, directly correlate to specific uh, question arts and, like, Umi Macro, so... I mean, if they're just there to explain that art specifically, they could do that, I think. That'd be cool. <laughs> I asked that question to the other me deep inside, but got no reply. Nessie,ねえ。それを知ってどうするつもりかしら別に。知ったら、あなたにも危険が降りかかるかもしれないわよ。5年目のたたりは、あなただったりして。Tatano-san <laughs> toying with Taboo gave a devilish, satisfied smile. And so nothing in the world would be more amusing. She was probably trying to tease me, but I didn't feel like going along with her little game one bit. Clap back, Keiichi. I felt a tingle of irritation at Takano-san's roundabout way of speaking. But those emotions escaped my mouth like water flowing through a strainer. He really likes that. That emotions equal water. <laughs> um, metaphor, like he says it, like, oh, my emotions were like water breaking out of a dam, which is actually, now that I think about it, it's kind of funny, considering the dam <laughs> in Hinamizawa, but yeah, he, li he likes going back to that. I mean, people have those preferences. I don't hate it. I like it. Even I was surprised at how directly I'd spoken about what I felt. Of course, I wasn't the only one taken aback. あら。言ってくれるわね。坊やなのに挑発までできるの意外に野性的ね。嫌いじゃないわよ、そういうの。Tatano-san's mm. tongue poked out of her mouth, and I was convinced it was a long, thin, and split in the middle, like a snake. ならいいわ。I don't like that Takano face. I can't actually tell what's going on with her eyes, but they look weird. <laughs> well, Keiichi might know about the Sonozatis in this one also. That spices things up. Oh yeah, don't tell. Tatano did it obviously or she's actually screwed. I'm surprised she's even willing to tell it to Teiji because that's this is extremely risky and she might not know it but literally everyone can read Teiji's mind <laughs> at like all times. <laughs> but you know if she does drop the Sonozaki info bomb, there's a good chance that she's gonna ask Mion or Shion about it. Maybe even Xion, just because I feel like Xion's gonna have a role in this to give information about Satoshi since apparently she was his boyfriend or something. I feel like if you tell Mion, actually telling Mion might be like pretty safe because Mion's kind of been protective of, protective, protective of Keiichi throughout the series. I mean, despite- I, I mean, yes, I know she technically tried to kill him, but before the act of violence, she seemed to be, like, sort of shielding Teichi from a lot of stuff in both art- both previous arts. Even in this art, when Rena was kind of popping off, being all creepy, she, like, punched her in the face or whatever, right? <laughs> I gulped firmly and nodded. Tomotaki-san made an exaggerated expression of distress, gave a dry, vague smile, and lit a cigarette. Uh -oh. After I said that, I finally realized why I wanted to know to ask them to chapter, but we're going on. Like I said, this is a long, a long video, unless, it, unless the chapter actually ends here. That'd be a talk plot. It shouldn't. It's a weird ending spot. He knows! <laughs> they definitely, she, she definitely dropped the Sonozaki bomb, I'm guessing. 
Okay, this that's interesting. I didn't expect Keiichi to learn about the Sonozakis in this one. What's he going to do with that information? Ask me on to kill them? <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't hate that. And again, I think Mion likes likes Keiichi. So, hey, I mean, maybe he's going to join the join the curse killing party. <laughs> party. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Many of my classmates were playing freely in the schoolyard. A few of them had just run out of the school building after putting on their shoes and tapping their toes to the ground. It looked like they had just finished eating lunch. From a time manipulating standpoint, I guess I succeeded. Nice one. Hi, random girl. A few girls noticed me and came running over. That's cute. <laughs> it was only natural they were worried. If you'd think if someone wasn't there in the morning, they'd be out for the rest of the day. The girls did strange glances. I saw a thin shadow fall over their faces and knew the answer without needing to hear them reply. Satoko was absent today too. When all was said and done, after being out f three days, she'd only come back for one. And now she was out again. Who knew if she would come tomorrow? It's probably not true. Wait a minute, Chi sensei. That's a little too thick headed, don't you think? You're a teacher, aren't you? Why can't you be more sensitive and catch on to the fact that your pupil is sending out an SOS? But even if she did, there's nothing we could hope for. The most. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Never mind. <laughs> the most she could do was a home visitation. She didn't have any right to take the total from her uncle into safety. No matter the result, it would end up like the public agencies with a wait and see attitude. It would just piss the Toto's uncle off and her suffering would only grow deeper. That wasn't saying she had her told the best option. So the girls excitedly staggered into the schoolyard. <laughs> Rena was yelling out of the classroom window, waving her hand. A moment later, Mian and Rita Chan poked their heads out too. Keiichi made a yasumi shimashita kara. Totemo shimpai shimashita no desu yo. Demo yokata. Kaoi do mo so nani waruku nai shi. Toriyazu genki so. I felt a little uncomfortable with her saying that I didn't let sit, but I didn't care that much. Doshita no? At least Keiichi is playing it cool. Looks like nobody can read. At least he's not like nervous about what he learned. So, if you say that you're going to get out of the train, you're going to get out of the train. You don't take a train to school, though. Nebo? Mian was being a bit persistent. Well, maybe she's a little nervous about what Keiichi's getting into, especially right before the Watanagashi festival. <laughs> it's kind of a sensitive time, I guess. Was she gonna put on her club president's cap and scold me for being late? Well, maybe she didn't have it in for me, so I briefly stated that she was right. Even Rena, feigning cheerfulness, couldn't stand to hear that, and her face darkened. Oh. <sighs> かわいそうなので、みんなでお見舞いに行こうという話が出ていますのですよ。何言ってんだよ、リカちゃん。Ooh, not pleased with Rita Chan wearing a wide smile as though it was a happy occasion. 
I threw cold water on her. Satoko ga kaze nan ka janai koto wa ore tachi ga ichiban shitteru daro. Tato e chodan demo nido to soyu shirajira shi koto o yu na. Tsugi wa okoru kara na. Oh. Rita Chan furrowed her brow looking down and mumbled an apology. Keiichi kun dake janai yo. Minna tsurai yo. Ore dake ga nayanderu nante omotte nai. Demo minna nani mo dekinai no wa honto daro. それはそうだけどででも I got the feeling that would cause another fight in the if this exchange went on Yeah, let's not do that We need to be unified guys to save Satoko So I apologize first ごめん謝るから今の話は忘れてくれ<笑>辛いのはみんなも同じだよなあ<笑> There we go I like it. Good plays, good plays. It was at least clear, however, that I was the only one who had worried so much about rescuing her. I believe that. At the very least, everyone else probably got the normal amount of sleep last night. Probably had good dreams, too. They definitely hadn't stayed all night, stayed up all night thinking des so desperately. Well, Rita might. Don't go stick to you, Kinari Kunako to Kite. Kyo Waruk Suruka Moshire Naikido. Kejan. 今日遅刻したよね。さとこが今日欠席したこととは関係あるはあみよ、お前、<笑>何の話してるんだけいちゃんはたまに、ちょっとつ猛進なところがあるからね。今朝、さとこと一緒にけいちゃんも休んだとき、さとこを家から連れ出して、どこかにかくまったんじゃないかって、本気で思った。That's more or less the plan. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> If I could have, I'd have done that last night. My man. None of them had really thought about how difficult that clear as day solution was. I was up thinking all night, thinking until the night was brightening. And then I concluded that I couldn't do anything of the sort. <laughs> そうだねごめん気を悪くしたなら謝るよ別にいいよそれより飯にしようぜ腹が減ってんだ I took my bento bots out of my bed everyone moved to make a spot for me to sit よいまらくん she's cheese run 今来たんですか And just as I was about to stick my chopsticks in, she sensei came along. Ah, hi. Chikokuste, smimase. There was a train accident, even though I walked to school. Nebo smashte. Oh. Nope, he's just going for the overslept. <sighs> What the heck? Even the teacher was giving me that strange look. Obento tabetara. Incho to my barakunwa. Shokuistu ni kite kudasai. ちょっとお話がありますので。About Satoko? Okay. Probably about Satoko, I thought. Sensei left it at that and went back into the hallway. Bento or Kuma de Monaidaro. Igoze, Mio. Mm. So then, eh? Mia and I exchanged looks and nodded to each other and got up. Satoko chan no Hanashi. No doubt about it. They were saying she had a cold, but everyone in class knew the truth. I didn't think that wouldn't have reached the teacher's ears by now. Revealing the truth to the teacher would only worsen the situation. Was that why she hadn't said anything? Or was it. Because she was Satoko's friend and knew that she was trying to endure the trial of her uncle's abuse in order to get her brother to, brother to come home. What do you do? Me. 
I like it. That's just me patter. Satoko's closet. <laughs> Satoko's closet. Satoko's closest and best friend was Rika Chan. However much I pretended to be our Nini, it didn't come close to the amount of time they'd spend together. So I felt like her opinion should be held in the highest regard. Everyone looked startled and turned to me. でも結局そのせいで兄が逃げてしまったんだと佐藤は思ってる。あ、I nodded quietly. サトコは叔父の Everyone hung their heads. Everyone was thinking the same thing. サトコは多分誰の助けも喜ばない。自分一人の力で耐え忍びたいと思ってる。でもそれを尊重してやるのが果たして正しいだろうか、俺は思わない。一時サトコに恨まれることになろうと、サトコの意思に関わらず助ける
まず2人とも知ってると思いますけどお友達の北条さんがここしばらくお休みしてますね Neither Mian nor I had anything to say in response, but the teacher proceeded not minding. Nanika, stay maska? Class de yokna yuasa o stay ruhito tachi ga imas. Mian looked down and remained silent as though she were being lectured. She sent me a quick glance. Everyone had made up their minds. They'd be leaving things to me. Incho? My barakun mo. 先生は別に怒ってるんじゃありませんよもしも知っていたら教えてほしいとお願いしているだけです先生先にこっちから質問してもいいですかクラス中で佐都子のどんな噂が飛び交ってるかは知りませんが仮にその噂が真実だったとして先生はどうするつもりですかどどうするもこうするもその話が本当なら放っておけません放っておけないって具体的にはどう放っておけないんですか先生先生の頭を見つけたら先生の頭を見つけたら前原君先生は真面目にお話ししてるんですよ先生こそ俺はすごく真面目な話をしているんですまず答えてください真実だったとしてどう放っておけないんです先生 took a few breaths then began to speak slowly ま,まず状況を確かめるために北条さんのうちを家庭訪問しますおじに怒鳴りつけられて追い返されるかもしれませんねまあいいや仮に叔父と佐都子に会えたとしますそれでそして真意を聞きますその事実が確認できたなら指導します指導って曖昧な言い方はやめてください具体的には何をするんですか Even despite my tone being so provocative She should say bit back her emotions and listen calmly I thought, that when she, I thought then that she was a good teacher She sensei really did have her students' best interests at heart. But she didn't have the power or authority to save Satoko. If she let her sense of justice run away with her, the situation could get more complex. Sensei folded her arms for a few moments and closed her eyes as though mentally concentrating. And then, when they opened again, there was a strictness in her eyes I had never seen before. この法律で児童に対する虐待は何人に対しても認められていないことが明記されていますらしいですねそれで沖ノ宮の生活相談所へ通報しますさっき前原君は追い返されると言いましたねこの相談所の職員は必要に応じて警察官を同行させることができます同活には絶対に屈しませんその福祉士というお役所の人は連絡して書類で申請して何日後に助けに来てくれるんです即日です彼らの仕事は児童の安全を緊急に保護することですから知ってますよ緊急性があると判断された場合ですよね認められなかったら先生と同じ指導をして様子見をするんですよね見てるだけ佐都子のおじの機嫌を悪くして佐都子をその場に残したままそれっきりケイちゃんちょっと言い過ぎ嘘はついてないだろう去年だか一昨年だかに児童相談所が来た時がまさにそうだったんだろうその結果どうなった俺よりもミオンや先生の方がよっぽどよく知ってるだろうが I had said too much I didn't need Mion to tell me that I was talking crazy and itching for a fight I was supposed to be telling her about the situation only after a sure week of safe Satoko, but I basically told her everything right from the start. She sensei looked at the clock, stood up, and picked up a phone at the principal's seat. Mosh Mosh, Naisen no San Yon Go Go, o n e g a s h i m a s Eno, Kei chan. Honto ni. Dai jobu ka na? It was too late. The dice had been cast. Now we could only pray. Ah, Osewa になっております
ひなみざわ文庫教諭の知恵と申しますが指導室の渡辺主事はいらっしゃいますでしょうかはいええちょっと休養がございまして至急校長と連絡が取りたいのですがはいお願いします緊急とお伝えくださいよろしくお願いします The teacher put down the phone and tilted her head back and took a breath like I always did. Futari ni mo ichido dake kikimas. Kras no minna no uasa wa subete honto nan desu ne. Hai. Ore wa kino Satoko no iye ni itte. Jisa ni dou yu koto ni na te iru no ka mimashita. Ato wa sensei ni makase te kudasai. Satoko chan wa kito sensei ga nan to ka shimas. なんとかいい加減なことを言わないでくださいなんとかじゃない絶対でなければならないもしもまた様子見なんてことになったら先生はどう責任を取るつもりですか While I was yelling, the phone rang. She said she snatched up the receiver first. もしもしあ、研修中申し訳ありません。はい。実は、例の北条さと子さんの件でお話が。Sensei waved us away, telling us we could leave now. Mia went to leave, but I held my ground. I had a responsibility to make sure she stopped saying such vague, ambiguous things. If it didn't look like she was going to say anything substantial, then I'd tell them the truth, even if I had to steal the phone from her. すぐにだ今すぐ何とかしろ通報するならどこへだっていいでもなもしも様子見なんてことになってみろただじゃ済まさないからだ I yelled angrily at Sensei and the principal on the other end. I wanted to somehow, someway, convey them just how dangerous her situation was right now. それは分かっていますちゃんと伝えますから委員長前原君を連れて教室に戻りなさいあはい行くよケイちゃんあとは先生たちに任せよ that was a good yell, by the way. 絶対だそう Until the very last moment I glared at Sensei Chi Sensei was being pressured by the lights of me Idiot, this isn't the time to feel pressured There's a time you give me a firm nod that'll set my mind at ease. Even so, we've already left things in her hands. At this point, we really can't do anything but pray. Bang. Mia shut the door to the teacher's lounge. That's a chapter end. Okay, not bad. It better not be a third chapter break. It's a little much. There we go. We got a nice clean finish here. Article and stats from the Ministry of what? Two journal entries. Th these journals are usually like more helpful than the normal hints, so these are good. Article 2 Definition of Child Abuse. The term child abuse, abuse means the following acts committed by a custodian. Meaning a person who exercises parental authority, a guardian of a minor, or other person who is currently engaged in the custody of a child, here and after the same shall apply. Against a child, meaning a person who is under 18 years of age, here and after the same shall apply. 1. Assault a child in a manner that will cause or is likely to cause external injuries on the body of a child. 2. Engage in the indecency against the child or cause the child to engage in indecency. 3. Substantially reduce the amount of food for the child or abandon and neglect the child for a long period of time in a manner that may interfere with normal development of the child mentally or physically or otherwise ma materially fail to perform the duty of a custodi custodian. Isn't that like what he did? Isn't that already child abuse if he's left for a while at all? Who was saying that? Like, that doesn't matter because he came back? Because that's... I believe that would still be child abuse, right? Or... 4. Speak or behave in a manner that would significantly... 
that would be significantly traumatic to the child. Article 3, prohibi Prohibition of Child Abuse. No person shall abuse a child. Law number at no number 82 of 2000. Authorized by the Minister of Health and Welfare. Well, obviously we don't know 100% the situation, but a couple of, the, a couple of those would probably check, check off. Statistics from the Ministry of Health and Welfare. Year 19. Principal abusers in case reported to the Ministry of Health and Welfare. Total 5352. Mother by blood, 55%. Mother not by blood, 3.8%. Father by blood, 27%. Father not by blood, 9.1%. So it's always the blood ones. I guess like... They feel more, like they have more authority if they actually gave birth to the child, right? Year 19, instance by type, instances by type of abuse in cases reported to the Ministry of Health and Welfare, 5,352, physical abuse, 51%, Ned, neglects, 32%, psychological abuse, 8.6%. And fitting the sad Satoko uh, image in the background. Trying to hit home with this. Forbidden from going to school, 1.4%. Sexual violence, 5.8%. I did the music pick up there. Please don't tell me it's sexual violence. That would make things a lot more frustrating. Well, those tips didn't actually help that much. I guess it's just, again, pointing at the picture of child abuse since it's an important subject to um, the author whose name I don't pronounce right, so I don't attempt it. Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, good chapter, good chapter. We had a curse talk, kind of. They kind of skipped over it, which is interesting, which makes us wonder what... Uh, Takano said, like, the natural thing to expect is, uh, her talking about the Sonozakis, but maybe that's not true at all, since Keiichi didn't really have, despite being so desperate, didn't really have any special, uh, reaction to, um, uh, Mion, so maybe something else happened. But anyway, hope you enjoy, next session will be, like, a mini theory session, mini theory video for like the mid middle of the arc. I don't know if we're exactly in the middle, but we're probably close enough. And then we'll get straight back into it. Next, next, next chapter should be about the Watanagashi, I expect. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, um, and I will see you next time.